YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Can you say hi? hi. So we are going, uh, I, I'm not sure how this is all gonna go. We have, uh, we chased down the UPS guy today. We are trying to pick up the new camera and, uh, and then we're gonna retire this one, but uh, we could not find it. We could not find him. Oh goodness, it's slippery. So we are gonna run, I mean a little pumpkin, we're gonna go to the post office and track this baby. Right, so here we are. Uh, there's nobody here. He said to come up to the little window. We're gonna see what happens here. I can't bring you guys with it because I gotta carry punk right, punk. So, the package has landed. So that is the new camera. I will break everything down for you as soon as we get back to the shop. Check out that time. It's like eight o'clock at night and they opened up the doors, let us get the package. So I got my temporary office set up down here in my house, uh, not out in my actual office. Uh, so this is gonna be, I wouldn't say magic, but kind of where the magic happens. So we've got this, uh, it's really heavy. Uh, here's what we got, it's a Sony a7 III. You guys saw me unbox it. Uh, here's the stuff I bought for it, you know, some, uh, the glass cover. Um, this is for my the new lens. I got a 24 to 70 lens, and then also I got this uh, f4 16 to 35 lens. Uh, first thing you're gonna know once you start using this, it takes two memory cards, and they have to be uh, where is it? This. See that? That U right there it had to be U3. Otherwise, they do not work for video in the. Uh, Sony, whichever way I was trying to do it. So, um, I got this camera, I was super pumped. Um, I was told this is kind of like the next level and if I'm committed to doing this, that I needed to get it. I don't think this makes sense for vlogging. Um, I've messed with it some. It does take amazing video, amazing picture. There's so many options, like so many options. like. A, like all the options you could ever think of. I don't know how to do all that stuff. I like to put my camera on auto and shoot and get the content. I was told that my cameras were not good enough um, to be running a YouTube channel. I see a ton of stuff that's not, this M50 can shoot in 4K. That's what I'm shooting on now is the Canon M50. It's light. This thing, I couldn't hold this up. Let's see how long I can hold this up for. Dude, this thing is heavy and big. So uh, the issues that I'm running into is that I do a lot of stuff outside. I do a lot of stuff with cars. I do a lot of stuff that um, that's just not, it's not necessary to have a, such a nice camera. And then the other thing is, is when I'm out, I have it set up on a tripod and I'm doing donuts around it out in the cold or hanging out the window of a truck I don't want this $3,000 camera just hanging there. So I personally think I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do a little more video with it and just see if it's worth keeping. To me personally, I think having like I mean two M50s. I could actually have three M50s. Canon M50, it's a mirrorless. Uh, what do I got on here? I got 11 to 22 lens on here. Even the other lenses I have, so that you can get the adapter. So here's other lenses I have, Canon lenses. Here's the adapter for it. Um, Mike, so this is the this is the kit lens, 15 to 45. It's right in here, in this little case. The battery life is great. Um, I don't, I really think that this M50 is like, 
kind of the kind of the bee's knees when it comes to uh, to to this. So another thing we're gonna try is the Hero Eight. Somehow I think this is supposed to fit in there, but we got a hard case because we have broke three screens on the seven. So as soon as they get hit, if they're on a car or anything, they get nicked by a rock, they shatter. Um, so I've in less than an hour of filming, we broke three screens. So we're gonna go with the eight, we're gonna try that. Here's the other camera I used to use a lot. Uh, the Canon G7X2, super easy, point and shoot, light. Sound quality is not great, um, but it is what it is. Drop some comments, let me know. Is the Sony a7 III a good camera for a beginner? I don't think so. Um, is it a good camera? Yes, like one of the best, which is why I bought it. And also check this out. Look at this mess. So my wife is the one who allows me to do all of this stuff. She helps a ton with, uh, I shouldn't say she helps with the kids, they're, they're both of our kids. But she is the one who makes it possible for me to be able to go out, go to these car shows, do all this stuff when I don't have my kids. And uh, so one thing we have been going back and forth on is if we were gonna get a new house or remodel our house because we need a new kitchen and a, we need to update the upstairs of our house. So if I go missing, if I all of a sudden aren't on here for like two weeks, give it a week, week and a half, um, it means my wife killed me because we're gonna be living in this. So this is phase one. We're taking out this wall, we're adding a header up top, and then we are putting in every single thing, including this patio door. All of it is getting replaced, and I'm doing it. So um, it's gonna be terrible. I'll keep you guys updated though. So drop a, drop a comment. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, but drop me a comment and let me know um, what your thoughts are let me know what camera you use and um i'm i'm really considering selling this a7 III and just having i mean i could literally buy another car and just go jump it for and i think i'd get i'd have more i'd get more value out of that uh but drop me a comment let me know uh that's uh that's it for this video that's it i need some help let me know was the a7 III a bad purchase or do I man up and just use it and, and risk and risk wrecking this tank peace